Hi guys, welcome back to our video series. We have three students today talking about working while in law school. Could you please introduce yourselves? Sure, I'm Colin Finnegan. I'm a 3L and I'm from Morris, Illinois. I'm Valeria Carvajal. I'm a 2L and I'm from El Paso, Texas. I'm Emily Liker. I'm a 3L and I'm from Hayes, Kansas. Okay. Could you guys please give um, your experiences or your thoughts on working while in law school um, all the way starting from 1L year throughout your time? I know that you are 2Ls and 3Ls, so you've had some experience. Sure. Uh, um, so really strongly recommend not working one all year. It's just super difficult. You have enough of a learning curve and there's so much work. And even like when you're outside of class, like there's so much work with assignments and preparing for the next day's class. So it just would be really difficult. And you have to remember that your 1L grades are very important. So that needs to be your focus. Um, but so I didn't work 1L year, but I did work 2L school year and I'm working 3L school year now. Well, I was until the coronavirus, but um, like, I think it's, there's so many opportunities on campus to do things later. And if you really want to work as a 2L and 3L, there are so many opportunities, whether it be on campus or through the career services website. That's how I got my uh, 2L job during the school year. That's how a lot of my friends, when they were 2Ls, they just would check the website and apply for jobs. So I don't think it's really a good idea your 1L year. However, if you want to do it as you're an upperclassman, you definitely have that opportunity. So I would wait, wait till 2L and 3L. I think you're plenty busy your 1L year with just the academics. I also agree not to work your 1L year. Um, 2L year, I, ha I have a few friends that are working at the career services um, and they just do like a few hours throughout the day and they can still, there's still some leeway to be able to, to study if they need to. Um, a lot of people work at the library at, at school and um, I mean, it basically forces them to do work like if they're there late at night because there's not a lot of traffic so they can, you know, get their work done as well. Um, I know there's a few people in my class that work on non-legal related jobs, um, like restaurants, but I mean, it, it all depends on everybody's situation, but I would definitely strongly advise, um, I guess, first kind of seeing if you can still get your work done and have a job at the same time, um, because it can get really difficult and school, should definitely be your priority if it's like if you're in law school it's it's just a whole different ball game than being having a job and being an undergrad uh yeah i would echo uh both of those thoughts um and you know i think when we talk about how we recommend that you don't work uh as a 1l we don't just mean like working in any legal capacity but just working at all um you know, even if um, you're working at Starbucks, juggling that with um, starting law school, learning how law school works, um, pretty much changing your whole lifestyle, that's just a little bit too much for your 1L year. So um, definitely take your 1L year just to really focus on your classes and adjusting to law school life. Um, and then you can start looking for those other options, um, you know, internships, um, like everyone else was saying, working on campus. Um, I worked after my 1L year uh, in the admissions office uh, at the law school. So that's potentially an option as well. So just um, take time for yourself, your 1L year, and then you can focus on finding a job after that. Great. Thanks, guys. And we'll be back with more in our video series.